Hey everyone, welcome back to Liz Fimic DIY. Today we are doing three Dollar Tree DIYs. So the first thing we're going to make is a really simple crate. What I picked up for these were two canvases that say our nest is best and also two of the Dollar Tree cutting boards. I've had several of you ask me what to do with these cutting boards. So here is a project idea. So what I did was I left one cutting board intact and then the other one I cut down the middle with our saw. Next, I put E6000 on the inner part of the canvases on three sides. And then for my half boards, I put hot glue on one side of them and then push them into place on both sides of my crate. To finish off the bottom part of my crate, I just took one of those whole cutting boards and placed it to the bottom. Now since I'm using E6000, I let this dry overnight before I try moving it or do anything with it. But then I just decided to add in some of my Ikea plants and I think it's a perfect little container to sit out with your plants for just $4. So the next project we're going to do is a home sign and this definitely has some Christmas flair to it. So this would be perfect to put out in your living room front porch for Christmas. So I picked up four signs and these are actually Halloween signs, but I'm sure that they will have similar signs that have this kind of, I, I think of it as like a puzzle piece pattern on it or maybe like wood board pattern around Christmas because usually most holidays they have this sign. So I picked up four of these. So you just wanna come in and cut out all of your strings in your sign. Next, I laid the boards out and I'm gonna use E6000 because it's super strong and it's the glue you need to use for a sign like this. And I just connected all four of the boards with E6000. I'm gonna reinforce it on the back with hot glue and popsicle sticks. Once it's had a chance to dry, I'll flip it to the front side and use some wood filler to fill in all the holes that the strings were through. Then on all four of my boards, I'm going to be using two coats of Waverly white chalk paint. So for my sign, I picked up a six inch hoop from Walmart. And so I'm just going to use the color crimson by Waverly and paint one coat on all sides of my hoop. Next, I'm going to use some letters that I picked up at Joann's. They are eight inch letters to spell out the H, the M, and the E. The O is going to be the hoop that I bought. And then I'm gonna use that same crimson color to do two coats on each of the letters.
Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan of the gaps that these stencils put in between the letters. So I'm gonna go back in and fill those in. I wanted my sign to look a little bit more distressed, so I just used a little bit of black paint that I had and just lightly brushed it along the edge of my sign. All right, so now I'm gonna work on the O. So I picked up this black and white buffalo check tote from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to cut out one side of it. And then I'm just going to push it into the hoop and then close the hoop at the top. and then I'll cut off any excess at the bottom of the black and white tote. I wanted to dress up the top a little bit, so I got a Dollar Tree pick, but I didn't like the way it was all laid out, so I pulled off all of the components of the pick. And then I just one by one kind of glued things on until I thought it looked nice. And I also used a few of the Dollar Tree small red ornaments to dress it up a bit. And the only thing left to do from there is just to hot glue the hoop to where the O should be. And here's a look at how this Dollar Tree sign turned out. All right, next I'm gonna show you how to make some super inexpensive pillows. So what you need to buy is one of these blessed towels from Dollar Tree. If you don't wanna use this one, you can use any of their towels. So to make this pillow, you're going to fold the sign so that the words are facing in. So from there, I'm gonna use my sewing machine and sew two of the sides and half of the third side that's not put together. Then you just wanna turn it so your fabric is right side out. And then you can use any kind of stuffing. If you have an old pillow, you could use that and just stuff in the stuffing into your pillow. To close it up, you're going to take the remaining opening, tuck the ends under, and then I like to use a few pins to pin it in place. And then I'll just use my sewing machine to stitch it up. You'll have to let me know in the comment section below which one of these three projects was your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I have so many fun Christmas DIYs planned for you guys this year. So if you missed our last video, I'll link it here. So just click right here to go watch it. And I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.